Curiously named after the American bison, the city of Buffalo is famous for its chicken wings, natural wonders, and cultural diversity. Its history as the home of Native Americans, French colonizers, and international immigrants contributed to its varied cultural landscape, from festivals and public art to architecture and flavors. Because of the enthusiasm of its locals and the naturally endowed attractiveness of the lakeside riverside city, travelers just can't resist stopping by when in New York. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Buffalo, New York. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Darwin D. Martin House. Buffalo has some of the finest architecture in all of the northern United States. At Darwin D. Martin House, you can see a building that is more than 100 years old, but hardly shows any age when it comes to engineering ingenuity. It shows that good taste is something that never goes out of style. The Darwin D. Martin House is the work of Frank Lloyd Wright, perhaps the most renowned architect in American history. Upon visiting this Buffalo attraction, you're likely to be impressed by all the elements, inside and out. There's the roof with a cantilever design and Wright's own art glass. Additionally, this Buffalo house is not a single unit. Rather, it's made of six total units, including a conservatory and a gardener's cottage. To see a place in New York that is full of artistry and history, come to the Darwin D. Martin House in Buffalo. Number 2. Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens. The Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens are located in South Park in Buffalo and are dedicated to inspiring and encouraging an appreciation for plant life. Designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, designer of New York's famous Central Park, the gardens were also created to provide a place for the public to enjoy an impressive living plant collection, as well as a community cultural institution and center for research and education. If you are looking for the best romantic things to do in Buffalo, this is a great place to visit. The gardens are home to a beautiful tridomed glass, wood, and steel conservatory designed by Lord and Burnham, and host a variety of exhibitions, educational programs, and events throughout the year. The gardens are open seven days a week and are fully handicapped accessible. Number 3. Canal Side. Canal Side is a revitalized area of downtown Buffalo running along the canal, where locals and tourists can come to enjoy some green space, relax, and take in some occasional entertainment. The area, the former terminus of the 1825 Erie Canada, includes a lovely park, with Adirondack chairs and benches looking out over the canal, and a walkway along the water's edge. In summer, a number of events are held here, and the schedule is posted in advance online, so you can see what's coming. Each winter, a huge outdoor skating rink is built nearby. Along one side of this area is Harbor Center, with shops and a few restaurants, and behind is the Key Bank Center Hockey Arena. If you are arriving by boat, you can dock at Canal Side on a first-come, first-served basis. Number 4. Albright Knox Art Gallery. Widely hailed as one of the best contemporary art galleries in the United States, the Albright Knox Center started life as the Buffalo Fine Arts Academy in 1862. That makes it one of the oldest exhibition spaces of its kind in the country, and a veritable staple on the lineup of things to do in upstate New York. The collections focus on showcasing major masterworks of various artists from the 20th and 21st centuries. There's the likes of Vincent van Gogh and Gagin, Picasso and Henri Matisse to see, ranging from canvases of iconic Impressionism to mind-boggling works of Cubism and Absurdism. There are also regular touring exhibitions and events, not to mention daily public tours of the entire institution. Number 5. The Buffalo Zoo. 
At the other end of Delaware Park, you can find the magnificent Buffalo Zoo, which has long been one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. Opened in 1875, it contains all kinds of incredible animals with everything from rhinos and tigers to sloths, sea lions, and spectacled bears on show. A fam favorite with families, its spacious enclosures and educational exhibits contain over a thousand mammals and birds, reptiles, and amphibians. You'll learn all about the animals' natural habitats and behavior in the wild through informative displays and zookeeper demonstrations. Besides scenic sections, such as Rainforest Falls and Otter Creek, the nation's third oldest zoo also offers amazing animal encounters where you can meet, feed and photograph your favorite furry friend. Number 6. Buffalo City Hall. Exhibiting exquisite Art Deco-style architecture, the breathtaking Buffalo City Hall rises dramatically above downtown far below. The city's standout symbol and site, it is a treat to tour around with beautiful features to be found both inside and out. One of the largest and tallest municipal buildings in the states, it was erected in 1931 and towers to a staggering 396 feet in height. Its enormous exterior's geometric design and decorative statues and friezes make for a striking sight, while its interior also boasts refined council chambers and a gorgeous stained glass window ceiling. In addition to visiting the mayor's office and seeing some of the fine features that coat its 32 floors, guests can venture out onto its observation deck that offers divine views of the city with Niagara Falls to be spotted far off in the distance. Number 7. Shays Performing Arts Center. Shays Performing Arts Center is considered a fine example of the great movie palaces of its era. The center was built in 1926 in the classic style with a neo-Spanish Baroque interior. The ornate chandeliers and a marble-lined grand lobby are some of the notable features. Cornelius and George Rapp designed the Shea Theatre. The building is listed as a National Historic Landmark, and tours of the grand facility are open to the public by appointment only. Some of the great performers that have taken to the stage here include Frank Sinatra, the Marx Brothers, and George Burns. Number 8. Buffalo Museum of Science. The Buffalo Museum of Science is a popular science museum located near the Kensington Expressway. It is dedicated to the exploration of science, technology, and astronomy. Situated in a historic building in Buffalo's downtown district, the museum is home to a variety of exhibitions that cover subject matter such as astronomy, geology, biology, and space technology, including Our Marvelous Earth, Bug Works, and Our Place in Space. The Buffalo Museum of Science is one of the best things to do in Buffalo with kids. The museum offers a range of workshops, classes, and educational programs, as well as field trips and guided tours to the museum, and a traveling outreach program. The museum has a cafe that serves freshly made snacks, light meals, and beverages. Number 9. Old Fort Niagara. Poking its way out over the waters of Lake Ontario just some 40 minutes drive north of Buffalo, Old Fort Niagara sits proud and strong on its own grass-clad bluff. Steeped in history, its story goes back all the way to the 1670s, when the forces of New France raised its bulwarks to protect the southern boundaries of Paris' new overseas power. Later, the fort fell into British hands and was a point of conflict against the French and Indian people of the North during the Seven Years' War. Then it was a power base in the American Revolution, famed for its loyalty to the Crown, and today it hosts everything from reenactments to guided tours of its barracks, armories, and cannon-dotted battlements. Number 10. Niagara Falls. One of the Earth's most awe-inspiring natural wonders, Niagara Falls lies just half an hour's drive to the north of Buffalo. Straddling the border between Canada and the US, it makes for one of the most spectacular sights imaginable. Phenomenal views, photos, and boat trips can all be enjoyed at the wonderful waterfall. Impressively stretching over 3,200 feet in length, the famous fall is actually made up of three different ones, the largest of which is Horseshoe Falls. 
Next to it, you can see both American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls with the humongous waterfall reaching up to 165 feet in height at its highest point. Due to its staggering size and scale, Niagara Falls is not to be missed when in town. Its endless wall of water makes for some fantastic photos with unforgettable boat trips to be had at the foot of the falls. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Buffalo. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Aside from delving into the city's rich heritage and enjoying its thriving cultural scene, other things to do in Buffalo include watching one of its professional sports teams play or explore its pulsating nightlife. Much more than just Buffalo wings and cold winter weather, rejuvenated Buffalo is definitely well worth visiting if you have the chance. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoya is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.